Lucky number three is AI. Now, I just did a post about this the other day. Everyone's you know hearing about AI stuff. And I was talking to a writer and, and he said, well, AI is not good enough yet. It doesn't meet the standard of writing and this kind of thing. And that may be true, but there's a lot of stuff that AI can do right now that's really, really good. We use ChatGPT um, and the GPT-4. It's worth buying it. There's three things that it does extremely well. First one is summarizing. And you know what? Humans aren't that great at that. I'm certainly not. So in interviews like this, when we get this, I'm going to take this and chop this up into little segments. And then I'm going to rip the transcript out of that. And then I'm going to get AI to, uh, to compile it into a, a single paragraph. So taking your transcript from your Zooms or whatever it might be, and, and summarizing it, that's one of the best uses for AI and does that really well. The second one you can do is creating structures. I was in a Zoom meeting like this the other day and a networking thing. I saved out the chat uh, messages because everyone had put their info in there, but that's a text file. And you know, it's really messy. It's just a big mess of, of, of stuff. So I used a prompt to take that and make that into a structured spreadsheet with name, email, uh, phone number, lists. And they did a fantastic job. Of course, it's specifically the prompt engineering, the prompt AI prompt that you use for that. But you know, I wouldn't have done that job at all because it would have taken an hour and I just wouldn't have done it. But it took me two minutes to do wow. with the AI tool. So that one is a really, really good way of, of, of doing that.